good morning from Aphrodisia. We're pretty much in the middle of nowhere in Turkey. So this place was actually discovered by a photographer who was, um, it was raining. He was in the area taking photos and it was raining and he, he stopped in this little village to catch some shelter from the rain when he noticed some things sticking out of the ground. He took some pictures of it and then he submitted his pictures to the archaeologist and they came here and discovered a whole a whole city and temples and homes and shops bathhouses Aphrodite was the goddess of love and fertility which is where we get the word like aphrodisiac a food that makes you have better love and fertility The site of Aphrodisia has been a sacred site as early as 5800 BC when Neolithic farmers came here to worship the mother goddess of fertility and crops. In Greek times, the site was dedicated to Aphrodite, Aphrodite, the goddess of love and fertility. So I think maybe this site in general was holy or like considered a sacred site for goddess worship about 8, for 8,000 years, the last 8,000 years. It looks so pretty with the the trees mm. and the leaves. You find these symbols, the symbol of the swastika, all over the world. Almost every culture has its own representation of the swastika. And swastik is actually a Sanskrit word, which I think means something along the lines of like good fortune or good luck. Uh, I've seen or I've read things online saying that it depicts uh, some kind of constellation. You can see more over here. Here we have some symbol, looks like a giant eye. Could be anything. More scripts. So this is the inside of the bathhouse. Here you can see where a tub was. Oh, there's another cat. And it's running to us. I feel like these animals haven't seen people <laughs> ever. Oh, don't scare her away.
many years of bad luck do I get? Ten, I think. <laughs> Hi. Is it the same one? It looks smaller. Yeah, it looks definitely smaller. And it doesn't have... Oh. It doesn't have the mole. Oh, look at that big beetle. Here's a flower of life looking pattern. I don't know what Socrates looks like. This guy looks like my neighbor. <laughs> Some of them are scary. <laughs> this one's the scariest. Looks like the Statue of Liberty. 